model of their own Lancaster bombers is on show when survivors of the famous dam-busting raid of 1943 hold a London reunion. Talking to special guest Richard Todd, who stars in the film Dam Busters, is Mr. A.J. Gibson, father of the man who led the great raid, Wing Commander Guy Penrose Gibson. One of the greatest bomber pilots of the war, one of the dam busters, Mickey Martin talks to actor Bill Kerr, who plays his part in the film. Here, specially, a Canadian member greets his old group commander, Air Chief Marshal Sir Ralph Cochrane, while film industry guest C.J. Latter meets Dr. Barnes Wallace, inventor of the five-ton bombs used in the historic raid on the Myrna and Zorpa dams. Nine Lancasters did not return from the raid, and other members of the famous 617 Squadron, like their leader, Guy Gibson, were killed later in the war. Now memories turn back to the morning after the raid when these historic pictures were taken. Here is Guy Gibson introducing King George VI to the crews who came back. For his part in the raid, Wing Commander Gibson received a VC from the King, and 33 other members of the dam busting team were decorated. That raid made history as one of the greatest single blows of the war, a crippling attack on the German war effort as a result of the tremendous flooding after the dams were breached. Both the King and Queen congratulated the squadron. They were proud days for the men of 617 Squadron when, at Buckingham Palace, they posed for these pictures after receiving their decorations. A particularly proud day for Gibson, the man who had already flown in 170 sorties before the dam-busting raid which was to add the VC to his DSO and DFC. More even than the flashback newsreel pictures, this model of the dam they breached brings back the memories of their exploit to the men tonight, Men who can look back into their pasts and be proud, and others who can count themselves honored to act in a film about such men. They recall the daring moments of that historic raid, wondering perhaps at their courage in those days when, for all of us, they did not hesitate. For Mr. Gibson, talking to the inventor and the actor, there is no wonder now at the courage of his son. Only the sorrow of a father who lost his boy and the pride of a father whose boy made history bravely.